Allah Rabbul Izza sent a perfect religion and He Azza wa Jal sent a perfect mechanism for the preservation of the religion. And a component of that mechanism is the قول of Allah Rabbul Izza وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَا تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And remind because reminders are beneficial to the believers. And reminders are such a significant part of the deen that the hadith of the Prophet wasallam with regards to the reminders of the day of Jumu'ah says that if a person misses three consecutive Fridays, as in misses three consecutive weeks of reminders, it is sufficient for his heart to be sealed with the seal of hypocrisy. And may Allah Rabbul Izzah save me and you from it. But when reminders come in the face of the reminders, humankind are divided into four categories. Now introspect and see which one you fall into. Allah protect one and all, Ya Rabb. The worst, lowest category is the category of the hardened polytheists and pagans of old. And they were people who could not stand reminders. They were allergic to it. They used to run from it as the Quran says, فَمَا لَهُمْ عَنِ التَّذْكِرَةِ مُعْرِضِينَ Why do they flee from reminders? كَأَنَّهُمْ حُمُرٌ مُسْتَنْفِرَةٌ فَرَّتْ مِنْ قَسْوَرَةٌ As though they are donkeys running from lions. وَالْحُمْرُ جَمْعُ الْحِمَارِ وَالْقَسْوَرَةُ عِنْدَ الْحَبَشِ الْأَسَدِ And حما, حمر, you know, plural of, uh, of donkey. So like donkeys running away from lions. And this is the worst of the categories to be in. Above this, better than this, but still in danger, is the category of the hypocrites. They are people who can stay in an environment in which a reminder is being given. But it comes into one ear and out of the other. They don't register it, they don't contemplate on it, they don't act on it. It is just like water rolling off a duck's back. So their situation, as the Quran says, you know, they come to a gathering, listen to it, and as they step out, قَالُوا لِلَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمِ مَاذَا قَالَ آنِفَةً أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ طَبَعَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ Just stepping out of a reminder session, they used to say, what did he just say? So Allah Rabbul Izza says, their hearts have been sealed. So this is the second category. The one above this, better than these two are those who will only listen to reminders if it comes from a certain type of people, from their clique, you know. And this is the sickness that some of the Quraysh had. And they used to say, لَوْلَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ عَلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِّنَ الْقَرْيَتَيْنِ عَظِيمٍ only if this Qur'an had been revealed on one of the great men from these two great cities, then we would have taken it. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, Ahum yaqsimuna rahmata rabbik. Are you the ones who divide and distribute the favors of the Lord? As in, I give knowledge to whom I want. I give guidance to whom I want. I send revelation to whom I want. I have chosen this Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and this is my choice and my prerogative. So this is the situation of those who have illnesses in their hearts. But the best category of people are the ones who listen to a reminder and digest it, contemplate it, and action the best of it. So they hear and then do the best part of that speech. So Allah Rabbul Izza says about them, فَبَشِّرْ عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقَوْلَ فَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنَةِ أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَاهُمُ اللَّهِ Give glad tidings to my servants who hear the reminder and then enact on the good of that reminder. These are the ones who are guided and these are the ones who are people of intelligence. May Allah Rabbul Izza make me and you of the people whom Allah gives glad tidings to and of those who are guided and those who are intelligent.